In this video, we're going to add a bit of gravity to our game so our crocodile isn't just floating around and our character falls down. But if we go to our scene, you'll see there's a problem right away because our crocodile really has nothing to land on because there's nothing there to land on. So let's go to Stencil Forge and from here we're going to go to the place called Tile Sets. Now, tiles are kind of easy to understand once you use them quite difficult to understand if you've never used them before so I'll just jump straight in what I'm going to do is grab this one here called grassland tile set it's quite a nice tile set to have so as you can see a tile set is just a collection of little tiles with pictures in them and what we're going to do is build up a, a level using these tiles and our crocodile so let's get to it I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go back to level one. So the tiles now appear in the scene or the level editor. So what I'm going to do is click on this middle tile over here, this green grass one, go to the bottom of my scene and just click and drag and draw a ground in my level. Now my crocodile, I would love for him to land on this ground level here and move around like a normal crocodile would. Before we can do any of that, what I need to do is set up the physics. Now, physics means how does the world behave? Right now, my world has no gravity. And we're talking about horizontal gravity and vertical gravity. Well, in the real world, we have vertical up-down gravity. And you can see they've written here, use a value of 85 down to simulate real-world gravity. In fact, that's what I'll do. 85 and down. We'll go back to our scene and I think it's a good time to just test our game and hopefully everything is working well. And as you can see, it's not working well. So something's gone wrong and our crocodile is not really falling the way a normal object would, but it's kind of floating downwards. If I use my controls left and right, up and down, you can see that all my controls are still working well and that's the clue as to what's gone wrong. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go to our actor and let's go to our crocodile. We know that gravity is there because we switched it on, but now let's go to our events and something's not quite right here. And the clue is right at the start of the game, we say set the Y speed to zero. In other words, we are telling the crocodile you're not allowed to move up and down. And that's already a mistake. So let's pick all of this out take this Y speed and put our blocks back in. This we can throw away. And what we need to do is now test the game again and see if that helped a little bit. And there you go, our crocodile just fell straight down. He moves left and right, he jumps. And now of course, if I press down, he kind of just moves in a random direction. We can take out the down control. Let's do that right now. Let's throw that away. Let's test our game again. So as you can see, the crocodile falls right down, moves left and right, down does nothing because I took the control away, and up moves as a jump. Now we've introduced one more problem into our game now. So if I press up and I keep it pressed, our crocodile flies. Now in some games that's good, but in a normal platform game, that would really be cheating because no matter what baddie you had or what kind of things you had for our crocodile to get around, all you'd have to do is kind of fly your way over them. And that's not the way a platformer game works. We're going to have to fix that and we'll do that in our following video.